<sighs> so after recording my reaction for 35 minutes, I realized my mic wasn't plugged in. So the audio is going to be from the camera. Sorry about the bad audio, guys. So the other day, out of nowhere, PreSonus announced that they would be doing a live stream on July the 7th. It had a teaser video that counted down from 10 to 5. Hidden within the text for a split second was the words Studio One Five. So we knew we were getting some information about Studio One Five. They also put out this image that says Full Circle. I posted this on Instagram, my theory that Full Circle was relating to looping or a clip launcher coming in Studio One Five, And there was also a new hardware sequencer which was rumoured. So I think Full Circle was relating to the return of a more hardware based way of working. I've waited till after work to watch this. So I've got the video here, I'm about to watch it for the first time. So this was in that, this was that teaser video they put out. that analog delay so they've changed the user interface on the plugins now that I'm here please don't push me the show page don't push me away and so that's that's what we thought was coming oh yeah we've got like a, a clip launch here Never let me go. Use Empire in real time for guitars. I'll be your dream maker every night and day. What's that a new chorus plugin? Oh yes, the chorus looks different as well. Every night and day, I'll be a genie. Just tell me your wishes. What's that? Backing tracks from your studio sessions. What's this? Draw out saturation, compress, EQ, control link. Tell me your wishes. <laughs> oh, they've added a score editor. Pretty much all of these were feature requests. Presonus is listening to the community. Wait, what's that? Key switch, keeps key switches separate from no data. source to the mixer without a track. Audio source to the mixer without a track. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, so that's like a Q mix. So yeah, so you can do like so you can DJ with it now, I presume, sort of.
They've added so much already. 23 minutes in. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope wherever you're tuning in, Hi. you're doing well. My name is Just David. Studio One Five will be available the same way you've always been able to buy it, and at the same price, whether that's pro, oh, that's good. artist, or for upgrades. But it's so not it's still on splice. Yeah, I'm Arndt Kaiser. I'm the general manager of Persona Software. Um, I'm uh, managing the software development team uh, of Personas in Hamburg. I'm Matthias. I'm the uh, CTO and co-founder of uh, Persona Software in Hamburg. So I would say we came quite a long way. I mean, from, from being the, the new door on the block to being the fastest growing door on the market. And now I was kind of hoping they'd update the synth. The show page. <laughs> <laughs> I think the main reason for people to choose Studio One is many of the same workflows covered. Usually the way how they're implemented in Studio One is just a few steps less. That's true. Uh, easy to use, easy to get started, easy to learn. I think at the end of the day, it's more important to have software that you can rely on, that's stable, that's robust. That looks so good. Well, think about the fact that you can have uh, an unlimited number of songs open at the same time. I probably have 10, 12 or more songs open at the same time and I don't even think about the fact um, that it might be complicated to switch back and forth between songs. But oh, that's today cool. it's time to celebrate. I didn't notice um, that before. Staccato, tremolo, vibrato. That's cool. Key, key switches. Studio One Five contains over 60 new features including a completely redesigned native effects plugin suite. Now, if you're just joining us, Studio One Five will be available for purchase at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time or in just a little under an hour. And on top of that... Oh my God, it's, it's out now. Studio One's complete suite of native effects plugins have a brand new look and some great new features. Rotor, auto filter, analog delay, and Tricomp are now all equipped with a state space model drive stage for natural analog saturation. Now every Dynamics plugin in Studio One has its own sidechain input, including Fat Channel XT, Limiter, Multiband Dynamics, and Tricomp. Pro EQ is now Pro EQ 2, and it's more pro than ever with the addition of a phase linear low cut EQ band with a variable slope, a dedicated input meter, adjustable meter range and peak hold, plus a new spectrum display mode to visualize your signal in a 12th octave view overlaid on a keyboard display. The console has some fresh it's like in Pro Q. Starting with total recall with its new mix scenes. Take a complete snapshot of your mix and recall it later. Recall filters let you restore only the settings you want and only on the channels you want. And speaking That's of really recall good. channels, now you can also copy and paste mixer channels and instruments, including their effects. Instruments can now be copied from one song to another or from a song to the new show page. And if you want your go-to synth to always be at your fingertips, just drag it in from the external instruments panel in the browser to automatically instantiate an instrument track to control nice. it and a mapped aux channel to hear it inside your Studio One mix. A lot of people are asking this for this. This is one of the biggest sections of feature requests. Loud or too Clip gain envelopes are independent of event volume and fades. And since the gain envelope is clip-based, so you only have to make the change once for it to be reflected in every audio event and part that shares the same audio clip. Or hook up a MIDI keyboard for the speediest input in step time mode. Have one hand on the duration keyboard shortcuts and another on the keyboard entering pitches. Note that the pitches being entered with the MIDI keyboard That's are being cool. spelt. I like this guy. Songs are destined to be heard. That's why Studio One was the first and still only DAW that lets you record, mix, produce, master and publish all from the same application. Now you can take your studio session to the stage with the same intuitive drag-and-drop workflow and deep integration you're familiar with. 
Studio 1.5 sets the standard for end-to-end -end production with a new show page. The first DAW to add a fully integrated performance tool, the Studio 1 show page lets you add the same backing tracks, virtual instruments and effect chains you use in the studio recording to your stage performances. Start by adding your players. These can be backing tracks exported from Studio One songs, virtual instruments with every setting copied from your studio recording, and real instrument players using your favorite plugins live while you rock out on stage. Use the set list on the show page to organize and customize your performance. You can name songs, change their color, reorder them, and even set the playback mode for each to continue to the next song, stop at the end, or loop. Don't forget to add pauses between songs to make room for your witty audience banter. Or cut them if the show started. So it seems like they're still focusing on band music more than electronic music, which is kind of surprising, but then when you look at their current fan base, I think it is more band based than electronic music. What's going on, Rick? All right, my friend. What's happening? So guys, I'm really excited to announce a new product that's also going to be available today at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time. It's called Persona Sphere. Let's check it out. Create Compose Collab. Persona Sphere. Every plugin, every add-on, 30 gigabytes of cloud storage expandable to 100 gigabytes. Workspaces to collaborate. Wait, what's that? Workspaces to collaborate and real-time chat. Oh, okay, so it's, it's just like a messenger. <laughs> I got overly excited there. Welcome. Presonosphere, connected by music. Whoa, so if you didn't catch that, you basically get everything with Presonosphere, right? That's right. So here's really That's the right. cool part is that the choice is yours. You can still buy Studio One just like you always have in the past. We really appreciate you tuning in today and can't wait to see you next time wherever sound takes you. Peace. Alright, so quite a few changes. I, I think there must be a lot that they've not mentioned. They said 60 changes, so I'm gonna have to look at those. I can't believe it's out already and I've not even I've not even got it yet. It is it's currently nine o'clock here in the UK, so I haven't got much time to look at it yet. I like the way they've done it, I liked the hype. Honestly, I feel like a really simple change that I'm going to love is the clip gain envelopes. That's going to be really good. I'm excited to try the new new plugin versions. I was hoping for an update on the synth Mai Tai. Maybe we'll get it in future upgrades. We'll see. So this was just my first reaction. I'm going to edit this now and upload it and then I'll be doing more videos in the future. We're going to go over everything that's new and I'm going to do some in-depth Studio One tutorials for beginners, for people that, that are moving across to the software or getting a new door for the first time. I'll, uh, I'll be doing some tutorials for you guys. Uh, I'm also going to carry on with the beat vlogs that I've been doing, the genre challenge. Thanks for watching, guys. Sound.